Hey everyone, welcome to Karen from tillycrafts.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this is another video in my celebration series um, If you haven't watched all the others, uh, this celebration runs from the 5th of January to the 28th of February and everything in here you can earn free with a spend in either the brand new mini catalogue which went live on the 5th of January and it runs to June or the current annual catalogue and if you spend £45 you earn a level 1 reward and any multiples after that you earn extra levels, extra level 1s so like if you spend £90 you get two, 2 rewards, 135 you get 3 rewards and so on. Um, I've had a series going all week and I'm showing you everything that you can earn in here. I'm not going to go through it all because I've shown it on each of the videos of the papers that I've used or stamp sets. But today I am using, let me find it, the Darling Donkeys which is free with a £45 spend. And I'm also using this Oso oh Ombre Designer Series paper. You get 48 sheets and there's 12 each of one double sided design and it's in four colours and I'll show you now. <clears throat> it's in Rococo Rose, Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay and Blackberry Bliss and as you can see you get the circles on those two and the plane on here and they've got the ombre effect so it goes from light to dark. And I'm using that in conjunction with the Darling Donkeys. Love this set. Um, it's a cling stamp set. You get eight stamps in here. Three cute images. Four sentiments and some sparkles, fireworks, dots, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> so these are two of the cards I've, I've made already. Uh, these were actually for a challenge on our team group. So I've used the Bermuda Bay on here um, with my donkey and I've used Poppy Parade. No, sorry, I haven't. I've used Real Red on this one um, with the donkey with the rose in his mouth. So I'm going to recreate these today in different colours and uh, I've got an extra one to show you at the end if you can hang around for me. Right, I've cut most of the things out because I'm going to be blending so I didn't want you to have to sit and watch me blend and then have to watch me cut everything else out. So the first one I'm using Rococo Rose. I've cut that down to, I need to measure it because I forget every time, three and seven eighths and five and five eighths and that's just going to be layered onto there. I've used the Stitch So Sweetly dies to cut this out and that's the plain one uh, without the dots and I've used Stitch So Sweetly uh, the next layering down one to cut that out in Whisper White. I have already stamped this donkey, I haven't stamped the other one, we've got to stamp the other one and I just start colouring in and then I thought oh no I need that for my video <laughs> so dead straightforward and then I've got the little Stitch So Sweetly dies which I'm going to put a sentiment on. So, these are the colours I'm going to use. I'm not using magenta on this, that's for my other card. I am using um, petal pink dark and petal pink light. And as you can see, I've already coloured his ear in, in the dark petal pink. And his muzzle's just going to be, whoops, his muzzle's just going to be in the light petal pink. Such a fun donkey. Reminds me a bit of the zebras. Love the zebras. And there's one in that that's kicking his heels up. We've also got the bronze blend. And I'm just doing his hooves in the bronze. There we go. And his body is going to be in smoky slate. So I'm using the dark. I'm not doing a lot of blending. But I'm just going to put bits on here and there just to give it a little bit of an effect. So like on there, around his neck and you can have 
his little uh, spiky hair in it. All right. Let's put the other one here. It's up to you when you're blending. You can do however you want. I'm using the brush tip on here because I've got quite a big area to go over. But I'll use the end for the little bits. I want his face lighter anyway. So there we go. So it is quite quick and easy. But I like his ears light because then you can see his uh, tufts. And then I'm just going to blend that in a bit. His mane. And just go over it where I've highlighted it. I like these blends because it makes you look good when you're colouring. But stamping up put all the lines on so you can just highlight where they put their bits on. And then I'm just going to go over this dark tummy. Until I get the desired effect. There we go, I like that. And I'm just going to stamp on the bottom because of all the... They've got a hee-haw. Look at that. Do you know, I had a, a hair on my stamp before and this is the cat. He doesn't like to be left out, so he jumps up when I'm crafting and he gets into everything. There's a few times he's had ink on his feet. Right, I'm just going to stamp that, make sure it stamps okay. Yep. And I'm just going to stamp that under his feet. Hee-haw! <laughs> like that. And then on this little label... I've got it's your day. No, it's your birthday. You're the best. I can't see because of my camera. Hang on. That's a bit skew iffy. No, don't like that. I'll do it on a scrap piece. I did have some little scrap pieces in here. There we go, we'll do it on this and then I'm going to cut it out using my punch. See, it's not straight on there but it doesn't matter because I can put it straight in the trimmer in here. <laughs> So I'm pushing it right up to the end and trying to get it straight, punch it out and then I'm going to push it back in like so and then I can make it shorter. Oh dear. Just caught the end of it. Soon rectified. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out like I did on this one out of some the paper. You know, I did have a bit left somewhere, but what I've done with it, I found it. Let's see. Going to just trim it down. I do like these little sentiments, and then it should just fit on here nice. Yes. Okay. 
nicely done even though i say so myself let's put the lid on that before i get that all over bit of tombow and then if i need to move it i can that's it Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on here flat. Like that. I'm going to get some Diddy Dimensionals. So hopefully I'll put them back, and I have. That's the first for me. on there, pop that on there, put some big ones on the back of this, there we go, stick this down, Center it up there like that. And this can be put on in the center. So much nice stuff in this celebration. I'm in love with the berry paper, which I think I said in my first video, but I'm sure I'll be having a lot more projects coming out with that on. Let's get that on there level. on there like that and then to finish it off like I did on the other one we have some hearts so what I've got is which is still in the annual catalogue is the dog with a little heart punch and I'm going to punch them out in if I can find it I've got some um, like glimmer paper Think it'll go in there. I believe I've still got some. If not, then we'll scrap that idea. No, we'll scrap that idea because I can't see any. But I have, even though it's Rococo Rose, we're using, I'm going to use the Magenta Madness to put some bright pink hearts on. And then it's in keeping with the pinks. So, what I'm going to do is just about four out there we go and these can have the little dimensionals on the back see things change I wasn't planning on doing this but then I just thought oh it'd be nice with those on mind you saying that that's it if I can find my dimensionals there they are they should just fit nicely on here and I think it'll just finish the card off really nice Oops. Oops. <laughs> very fiddly little hats around him there we go that's the first card finished quite like that how you like it too right let's do the other card right so for this one we've got 
Whisper White card base. Oh, and that's another thing. I keep saying Whisper White, which is fine because that's what I've got. But um, we no longer got Whisper White, even though I've got quite a few packs of it, so I need to use it. Uh, but apparently the um, factory that makes it due to COVID has had to, had to shut. So we're unable to get Whisper White again. But what we're getting is called Basic White. So I'm sure it'll be just as good quality. I'll let you know when I get it. Uh, but it's going to be a slightly different shade of white because it's all unique what we get. So normal card a4 cut in half scored in half then we've got a little magenta madness layer and a whisper white layer and this is two and a quarter by five and a quarter and this is two and a half by five and a half and that's going to go on our card so to start with what we need is the donkey and we're going to use this lovely donkey i think i must admit though i think he's my favorite he reminds me of eeyore a bit <laughs> so i'm just going to stamp him in memento um, right where did i put him on the right at the bottom not right at the bottom about there there we go that was so cute so cute and i'm going to start the sentiments in smoky slate so i shall do that now i want a scrap piece of whisper white so i've got hey there friend Just looking at see i think it might need re-inking shows you how much i use it i love smoky slate there we go hey there friend and it's your birthday it's your birthday and the only other thing i'm going to do in smoky slate is the dots down the side of the card so all i did with these was just Put some down the card and just to give it a little bit extra and it breaks it up. I think I must have used um, basic grey on the other one because it looks a bit darker. Right, so that's that bit done. Now blends. So for the rose, I'm going to use Magenta Madness. So it fits in with the card and there's nothing wrong with the pink rose i'm going to use just jade for my stalk and as you can see i'm not doing any blending with these it's just basically coloring it in dark petal pink for his ears White petal pink for his muzzle, muzzle, nose, I'm not sure what you call it, oh, and his lips. There we go. And again on the bronze on his hoofs. He is a cute donkey and again with the dark smoky slate I'm going to do is tufts it's going to give him a little bit of around the edge a little bit of dark over here <coughs> put a bit in his tail
these are a darker chest <clears throat> and the rest of the light I'll tell you what though in that uh, new mini catalogue there are some lovely flower sets and I've got a couple of them and they are just right for using your blends on Sorry if I keep going quiet, it's concentration. <laughs> oh dear. So how many of you are at home, working from home, lucky enough to work from home or got your children at home? Um, um, my hat goes off to teachers because I am finding it really hard. Homeschooling. I just ain't cut out to be a teacher. That's my... Uh, get out clause we're managing it but it's i'm finding it hard work with and we're working from home it's uh, not easy there we go they look cute on the other one you can see I've just grounded him a bit so I'm gonna use pool party for that and I like to pool party light like pool party it just makes him look as though he's not um, stood in midair there we go makes him look like he's stood on the ground <laughs> right where's my base gone <clears throat> so this is going to go in the middle here and then that will go on there so bring in the uh, pool party a uh, pool party what's it called tombow stick that down now the other one I did flats, so that's what I'm doing on here, and we'll put the sentiments up on dimensionals. Nice, easy card to do. Mini trimmer, you know what is something? Better use this because I can't do anything straight, can I? Love the jubilee. Leave that out of the way for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer it up on here. I can move my fingers. That's it. Right. So the easiest way to do this that I've found is by sticking them down. So, bring my mini trimmer back in. And then just line it up. So there's no science to it. It's just doing it like this. Ah, 
How quick and simple is that? <laughs> and these were walk on dimensionals. Do you know what? I'll be able to keep myself straight. Come on, come off. Should have done this one first. <laughs> and I think I should just pop that on there. And that one can just go underneath like that. There we go. So that's the two cards. Let's bring them all back in. So, to let me know which one's your favourite. There we go. I think, because I like Bermuda Bay, I think this one is my favourite. And the next to be the Magenta Madness, even though I do like those two. But I think those top it for me. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you can you can come back tomorrow for I think I've got another couple of videos left um, for the rest of the celebration goodies that are in here. And if you get a chance, please have a look at my other videos for celebration. They will all be on a playlist so that you can go back and see them all. Uh, but thank you very much for joining me and I hope you can join me again soon.